Okay. Now that we've made our mallet head, it is time to make the handle. So I'm going to do a new part again. And I'm going to start a 2D sketch. Okay. And the handle is basically a long cylinder, so I'm going to start a circle here. Okay. According to the um, instructions, the diameter needs to be 0.625 inches or 5 eighths of an inch. Make it 0.625 inches. Okay. Now I'm just going to finish my sketch and it looks like the mallet needs to be 8 inches long. So we're going to extrude it and we're going to make it 8 inches. Okay. Now we have our mallet handle. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a chamfer on the edges and it's going to be 0.625 inches or 0 0.0625, apologies, inches. Okay, and I'm going to hit OK. And we're going to put that on the other end as well. So let's bring that back in. Let's do another chamfer on this edge. Okay. Okay, so now we have that. Now we're going to thread the mallet head handle because we put the threads on the inside of the mallet head now we have to have threads on the mallet handle itself so it can thread together so I'm going to go thread I do not want full length okay and we're going to use the specifications from the mallet head to place the threads on one of the ends of the handle so I'm going to click here and put my thread here now my length of my thread should be 0.825 because that was what we had on our mallet head. So I apologize. That should be 0.875, because that's how deep the threading is on our mallet head. Okay, so I'm going to click Apply here. Okay, so now I've got my threads. If I look at the specification, I should be able to... It pulls up here. Do, 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 do. I should be able to pull my thread specification down. Okay, and it's not letting me do that. Okay, so let's go back and look at my thread, see if I can edit, edit my feature. So I'm going 875. Specify, there we go. Now it finally pulled up. I've got, make sure I've got the ANSI screw, unified screw threads, 0 0.625, 5 8 11, and I want. 2A, and I want right hand. Okay, so truthfully, that's it. That's all you need. Go ahead and save that file. Save. I'm going to put handle. Okay, it's still where my pegboard is. Okay, now what I can do is assemble it. So I'm going to go to my assembly. Let me get out of here. Do, 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 do. Okay. I'm going to assemble my file. Okay, so I'm going to start a new assembly. New assembly. Okay, so I'm going to place both of those items. I'm going to place my handle. Okay, I set my handle in there. Hit escape so I don't get two of them. And then I'm going to place my mallet. Okay, put that in there. So now I don't need two of them. So now I'm going to make those. I'm going to constrain. I'm going to constrain through. I'm going to constrain this guy here to in here. Okay. Hit apply. You notice it's inside. It's aligned. And it's insert. Not made like we were doing before. It's insert and it's aligned. We're not opposed. We're aligned. Once we do that, truthfully, we're finished. We're going to go File, Save It, and you can say, um, we can say Mallet Assembly. Now, it's not going to come up IPT, it's going to become up Assembly File. So now we have our Mallet Assembly. You can turn in Mallet.iam, but don't forget to turn in the handle and the Mallet Head, both IPT files, in Google Classroom. Otherwise, I won't be able to grade them.